Hello everyone, I am handling the codes principles of communication. In this session, I will be giving a gist about the codes. Principle of communication codes covers the fundamental concepts of communication systems which are essential for understanding of advanced courses in digital wireless communication systems. Let us look into the definition of communication. Communication is the process of exchanging information. Here in this course, we will be discussing various types of modulations which are the core mechanism for any telecommunication devices. Before we start with this subject, we will go back to the history of telecommunication. People communicate to convey their thoughts and ideas to others. The process of communication is inherent to all human life and include verbal, nonverbal, print and electronic processes. Two main barriers to human communications are language and distance. The language barriers arise between persons of different cultures or nationalities. Communicating over long distance is another problem. Communication between early human beings was limited to face-to-face -to -face encounters. Long distance communication was first accomplished by sending simple messages as drum beats, horn blasts and smoke signals and later by waving flags. When messages were relayed from one location to another, even greater distance could be covered. The distance over which communication could be sent was extended by the written words. For many years, the long distance communication was limited to sending of verbal and written messages by human runners, horsebacks, ships and later trains. Human communication took a dra dramatic leap forward in the late 19th century when the electricity was discovered and its many applications were explored. The telegram was invented in 1844 and the telephone in 1876. Radio was discovered in 1887 and demonstrated in 1895. Telephones were the first device to send analog audio signals over long distances through copper wire. Telegraph was, one on, was on the other way to send messages in the forms of dash dots. Well-known form of electronic communication such as telephone, radio, TV and internet have increased our ability to share information. The way we do things and the success of our work and personal lives were directly related to how well we communicate. It has been said that the emphasis in our society has now shifted from that of manufacturing and mass production of goods to the accumulation and packaging and exchange of information. Ours is information society and a key part of it is communication. Without electronic communication, we could not access and apply the available information in a timely way. In the most fundamental sense, communication involves transmission of information from one point to the another through success, succession of processes. For example, with telephones in our hands, televisions in our living rooms and with computer terminals providing access to the internet in our offices and the homes, we are able to communicate with every corner of the globe. Hence, communication plays an important role in everyone's life. This course provides introduction about all types of analog modulation and demodulation techniques and its applications. And it also covers random processes and noise performance in analog communication system. Module 1 covers the theory and practical aspects of amplitude modulation and different forms of amplitude modulation techniques. Double sideband representation, generation and detection are discussed. It also covers the study about single sideband suppression and VSB modulation and demodulation techniques. Module 2 deals with the theory of analog modulation, difference between narrow band FM and wide band FM and the generation techniques. Module 3 deals with the different types of noise and analysis of noise in analog modulation. The module 4 and 5 covers the concepts of sampling and quantization of the signal. PCM and introduction to the TDM scheme. This course is suitable for all students and practicing engineers who are looking to enhance their knowledge of the fundamental principles underlying various communication systems as well as students preparing for their college, university, competitive exams. After this course, the students are expected to understand the principles and techniques of modulation, transmission and analyze the merits and demerits of the communication systems. The course outcomes are Students will be able to analyze various analog modulation and demodulation schemes with its performance parameters, the concept of frequency translation, multiplexing technique and examples of VSB transmission, different types of noise and its effects on communication systems and the students will be able to understand and analyze the concept of digitization of analog signals, the use of digital formatting in multiplexes and video transmission. 
in the next session we'll discuss the communication process and how modulation came into picture thank you happy learning Thank you.